This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to modify the Z-depth of an object when dropping it to 2.5D? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a poly mesh 3D star here loaded in. Now the question is asking about taking an object like this star here, and then dropping it to the canvas. But when you drop it to the canvas, have the ability to change the depth of that object so you can start creating layered shapes and forms. So as a quick example with my star here, if I just drop this to the canvas by holding Shift plus S, which is going to snapshot it, you can see I now have a 2.5D version of that star and then my 3D version. Now you'll see that the depth of the initial star is sitting in the same depth as my 3D star. So as they hover over each other, you can see I can get them to cancel out. Well, let's say I have this one star on my canvas, and now I want to take this star and have it appear like it's behind this other star. So is there a way I can change the depth of the star that is currently in 3D so that it will go behind the other one? So the easiest way to do this is to just change the Z position of the star you currently have in 3D. So I'm going to take the star here, I'm just going to move it over to space and just rotate it to the side. And then I'm going to turn on my floor grid. Now with the floor grid, you should be able to see these lines going through here. And this is going to show you the center of the world. So with the star here, what I want to do to make it look like it's going to be behind this star is I want to take its position and move it backwards along the Z axis. So to do this, I'm going to come up to move at the top here and activate it. And you'll see that I'm going to get the Gizmo 3D. Now for this process to work, you want to make sure that you have the Gizmo 3 turned off and that you're using the transpose line. So to disable the Gizmo 3D, just come back to the top here and click this icon here or press Y on your keyboard and that will turn off the Gizmo 3D and give you the transpose line. Now with the transpose line selected, you'll see you'll have these three circles. So we want to come across the middle circle here and then just click and drag. And this is going to allow us to move our object in space. Now you'll see here that I'm moving the object back behind that center position in the world. So turning the floor grid on is going to help you see this. So now I can see I've moved that star behind its original area. So now if I take this mesh and go back into draw mode and then rotate it and move it on my canvas, you're going to see it's going to fall behind that other star that I already snapped to the canvas using snapshot. So now this star is currently being rendered behind the 2.5D star. So I can place it over here and then I can hit that shift S again to snapshot it. And so now I have a star behind the other one. Now if I want to move the star in front of this other star here, so I get this nice kind of star in the back, star in the middle, star in the front, I just need to go back to my 3D star. I'm going to rotate to this side again. I'm going to go back to move mode, make sure I am in the transpose line, not the gizmo 3D, and then click the middle circle here and drag forward. And I just want to get it past this initial middle point in the scene again. And then go back to edit. And now if I rotate this, it's now going to be in front of that other star. So that is the quick way you can change the depth of your subtool before you snapshot it down to the canvas. So now I can press Shift S again. And you can see now I have those stars all like this in 2.5D. And they look like they are layered. Now, you may ask, well, what is the point of this? Like, why would I want to go through and do this? Well, this process is very handy in creating tileable images or even just grabbing the Z depth to create an alpha. So by taking these shapes and snapping them down to the 2.5D canvas, I can simply come over to the alpha panel now and then go to transfer and do a grab dock right here. And now I'm going to get an alpha from those models that are in 2.5D. So it's a little quick way to come through and quickly just take some geometry and make a pattern or a shape. And then you can go to the alpha panel and grab that depth and turn it into a map. So as another example, I'm going to come over here and I just have some shapes loaded. So I have a tire and some cinder blocks here. So I'm going to select my tire file and I just want to clear my canvas so I don't want these stars anymore. So I'm going to hit control N to clear off the 2.5D canvas. And now I'm just left with my 3D model. And with the tire here, I just want to make a, you know, a quick tire pile. So I'm going to establish my first tire, which I'm going to put right here in the middle. I'm going to hit Shift S to snapshot that. So that is currently at that Z depth. 
Now you'll notice that I can position this other 3D model now in space, right? So I can move this around and kind of get it anywhere I want. And then if I'm happy with where it is, so if I want these kind of intertwined, I can just hit Shift S again, and that's now gonna lock that into that canvas. So now my canvas has these two tires appearing like so. Now I can change the depth of the tire again by rotating to the side of it, switch to move, make sure I have the gizmo 3D turned off, go to that middle circle, I can move it back in space like so. And now if I go back to draw and move it again, I can scale it up and down. You can see now it's gonna be rendered behind that 2.5D image. So I can place another tire here, hit Shift S. And then let's say I wanna add some of those masonry forms. So I'm gonna come over here and grab the cinder block here and move that into position. And kind of position it where I want it. So maybe I want it right here, Shift S to lock that in. I can come to the top here, make another one. Get it something like that. And if you need to change the depth or however it's interacting with the 2.5D, you just need to go back to that transpose area and just move it into space. But oftentimes you can just rotate the model on the canvas and you're gonna be able to get what you're looking for. Let me put this over here, maybe like that. And you can come through and quickly make a rubble scene in the 2.5D canvas. And after you're happy with this, you can add some more. So I have some bricks here and start putting this here. If I want that to go back further into space, just move it off to the side, put it in a horizontal format, go back to move, make sure I have the Gizmo 3 turned off, move it back in space, go back to draw, move it so now it's underneath that top there. Position it like so, make a few of these. So they're kind of rubbled up. And then there we go, we've got our 2.5D canvas, which now consists of a bunch of bricks and some tires. I can now move the 3D model off the canvas here so I don't see it. And then I can now go to the alpha panel and do that alpha transfer grab dock, which is now going to give me that alpha, which now consists of those tires. Now you can also then at this stage continue making these tires and you can make them tileable as well. So if you hold down tilde when you're out of edit mode, this will allow you to move your canvas like so, and then you can make tileable image maps. I'll put a link in the description here to a video showing you how you can use tilde and the canvas to make tiling maps using this 2.5D process of taking a model and snapping it to the canvas. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.